Today we're here to uh, learn to service an older FastCorp 631. This is an older machine that's no longer supported by FastCorp. You can't get parts for it. It's difficult to learn how to use. They're still good machines. They're still in service. It's been put at a busy high school. So we're going to want to take the readings on this machine. Very simple. We hit asterisk for exit. Changes to the change price menu. We don't want that. So we hit asterisk for next. Sales meters. Yes, that's pound. Choose meter type. We're going to say total. And it gives us our numbers, which in previous videos you may have seen, we're going to use whatever method your company uses to keep track of your sales and figures for taxes and accounting purposes and balance and funds. All right, once you've uh, taken your numbers and adhered to whatever accounting procedure your company uses, you're going to want to collect the change and the bills from this machine. Uh, this door opens here. Your coin box is down here at the bottom. We'll check our coin mech. We see that all the coin levels are at the proper place. So we don't need any change today. The little box is up here. Here inside our machine is our thermometer that lets us know the temperature of the uh, fast port machine where we're keeping our ice cream in the chest. It is a chest type ice cream machine. We want to make sure that we're in the green zone. So if you're loading this machine and you aren't doing it quickly enough and that thermometer is rising, you're going to want to sh shut down and go do something else, let it get cold again because you do not want to have a problem with the product getting above what's a safe temperature. A3 bin 1 shows it's out of product. We hit our pound sign and we're back to be the beginning, A0 bin 1 out of product. So you can see ice cream, healthy ice cream at a high school can do very well. All right, the way you load this is you have your product ready to go, then you're going to hit the load button. Um, when you hit the load button, the machine will only open up so you can uh, fill with product if you're out of, say, the accounting mode or anything on the front. So you want to be out of that mode, and you hit the load button. And your machine opens up, is ready to fill. So you can see inside the machine, there are multiple cartridges that are just a press board cartridge where you fill the ice cream. The ice cream should always be filled with the stick pointing towards the back of the machine, if it's a, if it's a ice cream bar with a stick. And it should always be filled so that the bar is presenting a horizontal surface without the seam, because this machine works by vacuum works by suction, so if this seam is here, it could cause a problem with the suction. After you finish loading the machine, you'll hit the close button. Now, if you've done this quickly enough, the temperature should be in the green range on your thermometer when you finish this.